Hey everybody, how are we doing today? Today, unfortunately, it's gonna be the last one of these I do for a little bit. We're gonna do a box break with the patrons for a mystery booster box, retail edition. Yep, I uh, had bought a pretty good number of these and, and we've gone through them. So, let's pop this open. We're gonna divvy out six packs a person. We're gonna see how everybody does. And hopefully we pull fire across the board. All right, let's get out the packs. Gonna do a little shimmy shuffle shifferoo. That was stupid. Okay. It's like I do it different every single time. <laughs> There's no rhyme or reason, it's just randomness. That's the way to live. Random. All right, I feel like that's good. Okay, Poe, you are up first, so you get Six packs, Jacob. Six packs, four, five, six. Evan. Okay, and just to make sure I didn't miscount, we got Chris, six packs, perfect. Okay, let's get to cracking. I hope everybody gets some beef. Here we go, Poe, you're up first. We're just gonna do two packs a person, even though there's not really rounds or anything like that, just to keep it fresh, go from person to person after two packs. So, Commons and uncommons, we are going to go a little slower because there are things you can pull out of these slots. Not rares, though. Not rares. I know people have thought that. Nope, nope. There's no rares in these. Not until later. Okay, so then you got Putrefy, Mirror Retriever, Dragon Mask. There's a classic. Caged Sun, and the Herald of Lezrak. So that's pack number one. Poe, you pack number two. I love the randomness of this set. I, I really, it's just, okay. <laughs> it happens, right? Okay, Skeletal Scrying. Saltite Charm. Hexplate. Oh, Rhystic Daddy, I had never pulled one of these out of one of these boxes. There we are. There we go. With the old border and everything, based off the prophecy. Oh, and a Torian Mauler. Okay. And a Zoomy Short Fang. Okay. You know what? I know Ristic Study is actually officially a common in this product. You're going in the top. Okay, Jacob. That's actually primarily to remember, remind myself to sleep it later. Oops. Okay, Jacob, here we go. Thron Golem. Phyrexian Metamorph. Okay. Hey, Mystic Confluence. That's cool. And Lightning Storm from uh, Cold Snap. Not bad, not bad. All right, second pack. Another upside down. Momentary blink, which actually just got a reprint announced. Since they're bringing blink back. Mortify. Hey, I see. That's different artwork. I've never, so it's Dominari. Okay. Classic. Brimstone Dragon, which is officially a rare. The Adorned Pouncer Kitty Cat. And a Ravenous Trap Uncommon from Zendikar. Okay, Evan, let's get to your first two packs. Oop. Dropping commons, sorry about that. Measure's bobble, there we go. Another good uncommon, or should say, common slash uncommon hit. Magus of the Moat, huh? Future Sight, cool. Vigor, that's a sweet pull. Wow, what a pack. And then delay once again from Future Sight. Solid pack, Evan. Solid pack. The Vigor from Battle Bond. Throbbing Inspector. Night Charm. Pilgrim Eye, that's kind of cool. 
Oracle of Nectars, not what we're looking for. But Feline Sovereign's not too shabby. There we go. There's another nice hit. We got the Amulet of Vigor off the uh, retail exclusive little foily list there. That was kind of a, a thing over in Europe with their card grading system. Somebody sent in one of these and they graded it as a World Wake card. That's why we can't have nice things. All right, Chris, your first pack. Do do. Let's see here. Blasted landscape. The centaur. Memory erosion. And they got the blighted agent with the infect. Next pack. We can do better. We can do better. <laughs> Second card is just upside down. It's crazy. Chattering spree. There we go. Perfect. That's good enough to go up there. Astronauts Alter Chris. Oh man, that is what is this thing like? Fifteen bucks right now. It's badly, badly needs a reprint. We got the Violent Ultimatum, Sewer Nemesis, and Norns ain't a next. Ah, ain't. Uh, okay, I, I'm having a total brain fart moment at the moment. I'm, I'm just going to pass by that. My brain can't comprehend, even though I've said the word a billion times. I'm just going to move on. <laughs> Things are funny when you're filming, folks. It's Focus on this, focus on this, focus on this. Think about this, blah, blah, blah. Hey, Frantic Search. So, Poe, another pack for you. All right, Frantic Search, nice common pull. Archaeomancer. Annex. Why is that so hard? It's not that hard. Oh, yes, make fun of me. It's fine. <clears throat> Millstone. Phantasmal Dragon. Grave Titan. Solid pull right there. Okay. Is that thing like 10 bucks right now? And, <laughs> man, this card was so awesome when it came out just because we were so used to Savannah Lions. They added one health. <clears throat> not the big deal anymore. Way over, way outclassed by modern day creatures. Okay, we got, hey, Phyrexian Reclamation. We are killing it in the uncommons here. Here we got Anger of the Gods and Patron of the Moon. Okay. Back Reclamation once again. Good enough to go on top. It's like I'm just keeping track of how big the hit pile is in this particular video. Uh, check up your third pack. Ah. That's why we can't have nice things. Okay, we got Snake Umbra. Baleful Strix. Solid pull at the uncommon slot. Reliquary Tower. A couple nice uncommon pulls there. Ancient Ziggurat. That's three in a row. And then we got Trading Post. And the Iron Mirror. That feeling when you're uncommon slaughter everything else. You know what? That Reliquary Tower can go on top. Okay, your next pack, Jacob. Apologize for the lawnmower, folks. Didn't know that was going to be happening. Is that Omen Speaker? Omen Speaker. Farseek. There we go. The card that's going to perpetually be two bucks. Etched Oracle. Debtor's Knell. Cool card, not a value, but... And then we got the Goblin Bushwaka. Okay. Evan, let's get into your next pack. Come on, come on, open up. Very good. Skull clamp. Whew. Okay. Seriously, we're we are dominating the uncommons. This is awesome. Hey, Guilt Leaf Palace. That's cool. And Chromatic Lantern. Sheesh. And then Luma Thread Field, which I don't have to care about, but that is a solid little three right there. That's not bad at all. All right. Well, yeah, a little bigger. Still goes on top. Next pack. Next pack. 
Reassembling Skeleton. Soul Ring. Rage Reflection. Supreme Verdict. And a Helix Pinnacle. That, that's another... Especially those two. That's solid. Okay. Chris, let's get into your third pack. This is what I love about these boxes, folks. I know not everybody agrees. But the sheer amount of playables they have. It's, it's obscene. Thoughtcast. Inquisition of Kozilek. Oops. Get in there. Okay. Phyrexian Soul Gorger. And Elish Norn! You know what? As, as we pull this, we barely pulled any mythics, have we? Oh, monstrous. Literally. And uh, a Glider Baron. Still, Elish Norn. Sweet. Okay, next. We got some Perilous Mirrors. Path Razor Vulamog. It's cool. Expropriate. <laughs> Chris, going off. Just absolutely going off. And then a Stalking Stones. Two packs in a row. Sheesh. Okay. All right, last round, Poe. Oh, I love this product so much. So we got Azorius Charm. The refu Refuge. We got Master Transmuter. Rune Scar Demon, not bad. And Mind Slaver, which is kind of cool. Okay. Not a huge pack, but not bad. All right, last pack, Poe. Unclaimed Territory. We got Darksteel Garrison. Not the rare we're looking for. Cauldron of Souls. And the Noggle Bandit. Okay. That was actually your first pack, I would call actually kind of weak. All right, Jacob, let's find you a mythic. Let's find you a mythic. Let's find you. I don't know. Let's. Oh, upside down. Nature's Lore. Torment of Hailfire. There we go. In a Balduvian Rage. Torment of Hailfire. Yeah, let's do another pack like that. All right, last pack, Jacob. Tragic Slip. Angel of the Dire Hour, which got printed like crazy in Jumpstart. Hey, Marinar! That's a cool card. Okay. Not spicy, but hey. Take it. But got that torment. Okay. Evan, your next pack. And we got some more upside down. Second white uncommon or common. We got Gary. Explore. Bajookabog. Desolation Twin. Okay. Hey, Braid of Fire. That's a nice pull. There we go. Evan's killing it in the uh, retail exclusive department. This has been a pretty good box, folks. Pretty good box. Aether Spell Bomb. There's another one. Deep Glow Skate. And Myojin of Life's Web. Okay. And Chris, let's get into your last two. The last two of these I'm probably going to do for a while. Unless I find somebody fire selling a case again. Okay, we got Propaganda. Yeah, I shouldn't call it a fire sale, but a fair price. That's probably a better way to put it. Oh, asceticism. Sheesh. Chris. Oh, man. 
It's all right, Teferi. Okay, that's a solid pull. And then a harmonic sliver. Huh. Okay, last pack. Grasp of Fate. Hey, you're just going to end it on a solid, solid like $7 or $8 rare. And then Scrib Ranger. Well, that was a fun one. Um, yeah, I'm going to put Fs in the chat for Jacob, unfortunately, but there was a lot of great cards that got pulled. That was a, that was a deep box. Sheesh. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, hope everybody enjoyed it. I thank the patrons for, you know, getting in these things and taking part in cracking packs, you know, on a video on the internet. Like, comment, subscribe.